Hey guys, this is Swordfish, and today I'm playing Minecraft. I think today I'm going to do something a little different. Just a little different. Last bunch of episodes, what I've been doing... Where's my phone? What I've been doing is... Um, I've been caving, and then I died while I was caving, and then I came and just did some... I was afraid to go back in the cave, so I did some uh, miscellaneous crap. It wasn't crap, it was fun. It was fun, okay. But, um, some housekeeping. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to scout a little bit for my build. I don't know if you remember, but my plan was that I was going to make... Oh, hey. hey, oh, you brought me a tree. That's so nice of you. I'm sorry that you're going to die. You brought me a present. Aw. Um, it wasn't that cute. He was dead. He was, that's gross. He was dead. Um, where's my sticks? Do I not have any sticks? Do I really not have any sticks? I spent, like, so much time cutting wood. That's enough. Um, I just need to make a sword. Jeez. I don't know if you remember, it was a while ago, but the reason we originally landed here is because we wanted to build, wanted to do a lonely mountain sort of build. And this seemed like a really sweet spot. I was going to have like an arch here and then like an entrance and then it will go up inside the mountain. And then what happened is we discovered, oh, my bows are gone. Dang, nabbit. What we learned, all oh my tools. Jeez, that was brutal. That I'm still, I'm still reeling over the death, kind of. Um, it sucked. Let me use up my crap while I'm here. Um. So what? I went to make it, or like I, I was starting. I was kind of scouting the area and whatever, and there's this massive, massive. Massive cave system underneath it. I, I mean, I explored it for like probably five or six episodes, and I'm not even close to done. So much stuff down there. Um, but when I died, I kind of got skittish. So we are gonna take a break from caving, and what we're gonna do this episode is we're gonna plan a little bit. We're gonna do some planning. Or not planning, but we're gonna do some more scouting for the uh, Lonely Mountain. The Lonely Mountain thing. When I say scouting, what I mean is... We're gonna... Oh, I lost my coal. Dying sucks. Lost my torches. Um, I wanna see... Kind of... What else is... What is up? We know it's down in that mountain. It's a big, huge freaking cave. We know that that's there. What I want to find out is what is up. Is there anything in here? We want to dig around. This is an entrance. Is this the same cave? Is it a different cave? We're going to find out what's going on. Because I want to build the entrance sort of here. And while I'm feeling like a break from caving, what I think I should do... Okay, so this is like a pass-through. This goes down into the cave, I think. I can't pass up the coal and the XP. That's fine. Because um, what we can do when we're not feeling like caving is if the top of the mountain is not cavey and there's stuff to, to do, or there's like space to build, what we can do is give, make the, give the cave sort of an entrance, like a beware... Or like an under construction, you know, like some kind of some kind of entrance. It's like it's dangerous here. And rather than trying to clear out the whole thing before we start building, because that's just not reasonable. Like, I'm not gonna be able to do that. It's gonna go on forever. So that's cave down there. I hear skeletons. Oh crap. 
I don't have a bow. Oh jeez. Oh, oh jeez. Oh jeez. Well, I didn't want to fight. I don't want to do any fighting. Hey, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is the cave, right? Oh, how did you get there? I don't want to be in here. I don't want to try to leave the cave. No. No. Die. Oh, wow. That was tough. Okay. This is the cave. Ouch. I really... I, I'm... It's inescapable. This is weird. Is that a bug? What is that? Is this a source block? It's just floating water. What happens if I do that? It is a source block. It's an invisible... It's like flowing out of the... What, so if I... Is that gonna... No? Huh. It was a source block without, like, a an entrance. That was weird. Okay. There's a mountain cow. Behold. Wait, I gotta get my David Attenborough voice on. I, on the spot, I totally forgot how to do a British accent. Crap. Behold. The rare mountain cow. I'm not gonna... Oh, wow. I... Talk about drawing a blank. I I can't. What do British people sound like? I have no idea. Behold the rare mountain cow in his natural habitat. He falls. He falls so gracefully down the mountain cliffs. Oh, he's grazing for grass. Is there any grass? There's not. Because he's a mountain cow. Look at he jump. Look how he jumps. He jumps so beautifully. Okay, that's enough of that. That was, that was weird. Sorry, guys, that was a little weird. What's here? More cave? All right, this is the coal I just dug out. This is where the skeleton assaulted me. Um, This is an entrance. This is the real cave down here. And this is just dark. I gotta... Alright, is this just gonna be cave? As far as the eye can see? What's this? Little room. Did I do this? This looks like something I would have done. Except not block it off, but... Okay. We can block this off now. Look at us. We, uh... We caved anyway. We went caving by accident. We can't help ourselves. Oh, sunset. Wait, let's go look at the sunset. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. <laughs> let's ruin the pretty film, the beautiful music with the pork chop sound. Okay. Okay. So, this is basically cave here, right? But it's, it's cleared out cave. It's not like scary, monster infested, um, terrifying cave. It's just a cave. It's an empty cave. It's up high. This could be, we could, I could work with this. I could work with this. I'm so sad that I didn't turn the music on earlier in the series. It's really nice. It's a huge coal vein. Wondering, and you might be, why the hell does he have a golden, a, a unbreaking three efficiency for golden pickaxe? That, my friend, is a great question. With a stupid answer. I, um, when I was, I did this on camera, so if you've seen, if you've been watching the series from the beginning, first of all, thank you. That is a huge honor, and I really appreciate it. And second of all, oh crap. I, um, I was trying really hard to get a, what, what was it that I was looking for? I was trying really hard, oh, this is gonna be trouble, we gotta go sleep. I was trying really hard to get a fortune pick. Because I found some diamond, but I didn't want to mine the diamond until I had fortune. 
because I didn't want to waste it. And I know from reading the Minecraft wiki that um, gold has a higher enchantability, air quotes, than diamonds. So I said, oh wait, where am I? Where am I? This isn't, oh, I came out on the other side. I just went through the mountain. This is my, where I died. That's sort of, that's the, um, the double spawner. And then also this is where I died. RIP myself. There's a creeper, get away from me. Ah. Oh boy. Um, so I enchanted, put a level 30 enchantment on that golden pickaxe didn't get fortune and it was lucky I didn't get fortune because as it turns out and what you're probably saying to yourself is you can't mine diamonds with gold swordfish that doesn't work and you're right it doesn't work and I uh, fortunately looked it up before I tried because that would have been really sad all right let's go back let's go back we got to get rid of this creeper Um, so that's what that cave system looks like. It's, it's basically... It's basically just... Um, it's sort of empty. There's nothing really left. And then it connects... with Through the floor, it connects to my... Um, the real cave. The, like, explory, explory cave. So let's see what's up here now. Top of the mountain. There's skeletons, of course. Skeleton under hiding under a tree. They're really Mojang was really serious about you cannot melee skeletons. They were not kidding with that. Okay, let's climb up to the top. Okay, the scale is at the top of our mountain here. Where we think we want to build our base. Yeah. Oh, that's so pretty. so pretty um yeah this i think what i was thinking is this is a terraforming project if i ever heard one right to carve this out was i did i really seriously say that did i that's like some doc m digging no okay yeah that would have been ridiculous why is there a little sand there that's kind of funny and a little pond you know what we're gonna go look at the little pond while we're exploring our future home, we should probably see what's around. Uh, there's a little pond here. It's just a pond. Hmm. Hmm, very refreshing. Very refreshing. Okay. So what we were going to do is we were going to... Um... Did I do this? I must have done this. Oh, when I was, yeah, when I was first searching, I ended up there and I hid and then I came out and said, screw it, we're going to stop here. And then I stopped. Yeah, this is what I was looking at, this scoop here. So this nice, this is like kind of curves in and then out again. This nice, yeah, right here. This is what I was looking at originally, I think, when I found this spot was this to be the entrance. So what I, let me just run away. Of course I can't see it now. Let me step back a little bit. So, up there, so I wanted to build, this I believe is what I wanted to build. I'm not gonna go back and check. I'm just gonna, just, you know what? I don't care what I said. This is what I'm gonna do now. Not now, but soon. This is my plan. So, in this like scoop here, this little scoop out, I wanna put a big, I'm gesturing with my hands like you can see it, a big door, like a, a huge archway with like a big stone or iron or some kind of really intimidating door. And then a big like staircase kind of leading up to the door. And then the base is gonna be inside the mountain. 
Now, it seems like the mountain is big enough to sustain a base. What is kind of stinky is that right here behind this ridge, as we just saw, here's the lake, there's the tree. Right here behind this ridge, it kind of dips down again. There's not really anything substantial back there. So I may have to create my own mountain. That doesn't sound like fun at all. So maybe we're not going to do that. We'll, we'll see. We'll refine the plan as we go. But I want to I wanna have an idea. Oh, hello. Hello. You dead. I kind of want to get started on that as an alternative to caving. Because I know... I can imagine you guys... Whoa, surface lava. I can imagine you guys are probably sick of caving. I've done a lot of caving. If not, let me know, obviously. If you're enjoying the caving, and I'm enjoying the caving, I'll keep doing it. But but I feel like I should... I'm getting, I am getting kind of sick of it right now. So at least for a little bit, I want to shake things up. And start building. Hopefully I can get some kind of idea of what I want to make. Do I not have any blocks? Okay. Um, but, oh god, don't step in the lava. I, um, I really enjoy watching people build. Uh, my favorite, right now, my favorite series on YouTube, the one that I watch, like, as soon as it comes out, every, every time, is Building with B-double-O, who is, I've, I've referenced many times, I'm sure, he's, he's awesome. It's one of my favorite mine crackers, one of my favorite LPers, and I love his building with the B00 series. He does some really awesome looking stuff. He says, you know, he's been taking building lessons from guys on the Hypixel server. If you don't know Hypixel, the uh, the Hypixel server is a server where with um there's a lot of multiplayer games. And their multiplayer games. This is a terrible idea. Wait, I was here already. There was something up there I was trying to get to. Whatever. Um. Whoa. Whoa. Wait, this is cool. Let's just flow. Just let the water flow with us. I I didn't know. Okay, now I'm stuck. That was too awesome to pass up though. That was good. It's like a little water slide that goes into this cave. Now this sounds dangerous, so we probably should not be here. Now, this is just a cave. This is Hello, what are you doing? Little piggy, you need to go away. You, this is not the place for you. This is just a scary... Oh, crap. I attracted the zombies. But I need to see what's over here. What is this? It's a golden zombie. Is that a... That's not a spawner. I don't think it's a spawner. But he's stuck in... It looks like... He's stuck. Oh, there. He found his way out. Okay, let's go. Try to get his armor. I know where to get the heck out of here. Um, so Hypixel has a server. I don't know if Hypixel is a person or... Oh, actually, that was really sweet. I don't know if Hypixel is a person or if Hypixel is just the name of the server or what, but... Oh, crap. We're lost. But, um... The Hypixel server is a place where you can play uh, a bunch of multiplayer minigames and all their minigames are on custom maps and the maps are gorgeous they're gorgeous maps and I know B00 takes a lot of inspiration from those maps one of their map makers actually was giving him building lessons that's building lessons I was referring to and did I just end up where I wanted to be okay I have no idea where I just came out but that's okay we'll find it I think I'm to the right of my mountain yeah um 
And I've been watching the things that he's been talking about, and it's really inspiring and exciting, and I really want to try building. So that was a really roundabout way, as we got lost in a cave, of me saying, I really want to try out building. Because I've never done a build, like a real build. As I said, I've got this, um, this thing here. This little enchanting hut made entirely of even, blocky, mossy cobble. It's beautiful. I built that house at the beginning, the little shack. But we want to do something. We're going to totally go from this and that and these pillars to, like, this big grand entrance. So we're going to see how that goes. I probably should do it in creative first. Um... But, you know, we'll see how that goes. I'm going to end this episode a little short. Because um, I was just, I really, I, what I wanted to do was scout. And I'm not ready to start building. I have to think about it. <clears throat> In the next episode, I think that's what I'm going to do. But the last thing I want to talk about is my new um, release schedule. And I'm going to I'm gonna mention this in every video I make. This Oh, crap, I should sleep. Oh boy. I'm going to mention this in like every video that I release this week. Um, and to be perfectly honest, I'm not 100% sure if anyone noticed that I had a release schedule. And I'm not saying that to be self-deprecating or anything, but because uh, I don't. Like, I follow channels and I watch their videos every day that they come out and I don't notice their schedule. My schedule right now is Minecraft Monday, Wednesday, Rogue Legacy Tuesday, Thursday. Um, and what I'm going to do is I wanted to add a new game to my schedule. On top of Minecraft and Rogue Legacy, I want to add and play a third game. One, so I don't burn out on Minecraft. And two, because I'm excited about it. I was talking to my friend about it. He got me really hyped up to play it. I'm not going to tell you what it is. It's a secret. But um, it's a, it'll be a new series. And to make room for the new series, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play my... I'm only going to be playing Minecraft once a week. So I'm going to release one Minecraft video a week every Monday. And it be the same half hour long thing. It's exactly the same thing I'm doing now, except half as often. Uh, and I'm sorry if that bums you out. But I got to I gotta keep it fun, you know? Too much Minecraft is not is will will get me not having fun in Minecraft, and I don't want to not have fun. That's the whole point of this is fun. What is this back here? Let's find out. Um. So I'll be I'll be releasing one Minecraft video a week every Monday, and then the um, one episode of the new game, which is a mysterious game will be around a half hour and those will be on Wednesday and then Tuesday Thursday it's still gonna be Rogue Legacy but I'm making I'm calling that time slot the uh, indie game of the moment basically I'm gonna be besides these two game the two full-time games I'm gonna be rotating an indie game in that slot I'm not gonna like stop it before it's done but I'm planning on playing shorter games than Rogue Legacy so I'm gonna I'm gonna have I'm gonna do I'm gonna do Rogue Legacy until it's done, and then when it's done, I'm gonna do a new a new game in its place. And we're gonna those two days a week are gonna be reserved for indie games. New indie games. Not necessarily new, but indie games. I'm I wanna keep the under twenty episodes for a series. And I'm trying to do twenty minute episodes instead of thirty minute episodes. So that's math 20 episodes 20 times 20 minutes is 400 minutes no yes crap live math is never smart 400 minutes which is a little bit over six hours six and a half six hours and 40 minutes i hope that's right because that'd be really embarrassing so I'm looking for games about that long, about six hours long, or whatever. Shorter than that for now. I'm going to try to jump in this water. That just looks like fun. Um, I'm not going to make it. 
I died. I lost all those levels. That was really stupid. I don't know why I did that. Ugh. Um. That was really dumb. I had so many. I had a bunch of levels. Well. Um. Was that over here? Yeah. So. If you have any suggestions, please, uh, please let me know if there's any indie games you really enjoyed recently, anything you really, you really liked and want to play. I'm looking to, I have a Steam library full of games that I'm, I'm trying to play. So I want to play the shorter ones so that I can get through them as fast as possible, do as many new series as I can. Hopefully that'll keep things interesting. That's my plan. I have the first game. I already decided I'm going to play DLC Quest. Which sounds kind of fun and snarky, and also, um, it's short. <laughs> it's short, and that helps. Um, but after that, you know, we'll see. And if you have any suggestions, please, please suggest them. And, um, maybe I'll play it. If it sounds fun. So that's fun as a requirement, but if it sounds fun, you know, I'm down to play whatever. So let me know what you think about that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry that this was a bit of a, a rambly episode. I, this is sort of a haphazard, sort of a haphazard one. But I wanted to uh, scout, and now I gotta plan a little bit, and I wanted to talk about that new structure look forward to a new game on wednesday a secret secret new game uh, hopefully you like it i already recorded the first two episodes and it was super fun hopefully that'll continue um so keep an eye out for that let me know what you think about the new schedule if you have any feelings or either way about it if you like it or you don't like it or whatever let me know um i'm right now gonna go hang out in this skeleton grinder and uh Get me some XP. And uh, enchant me some bows. So, thanks for watching. If you liked this episode, I know it wasn't my most interesting. I'm sorry. I needed to do those things, and I don't like doing stuff off camera. But if you like this episode, please give it a like down below. Helps me out with my channel. You know, you know, you know how it is. Um, if you want to see more videos from me, I would love it if you would subscribe. It brings videos into your inbox and maybe your email inbox, but your YouTube feed regardless. And that um, makes me happy when people subscribe. It's nice. I like it. And that's all for this episode. So I'm going to hit some skeletons with some steak. And I hope you guys have a lovely day. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Dead. Oh man, it's taking too long. Purge so dream. I was going for drama. It didn't work. Okay. Bye guys. Bye bye. Wait. How do you? How do you turn it? How do you? What's the button? That's a screenshot. That's that. Here we go. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.